It's been a year since I left Google, and I still think back to this one conversation I had with a colleague. She asked me, can I ask you something awkward? And I said, okay, how awkward is this gonna be? And she said, why are you so rich? I <laughs> didn't know what to say, but I understood why she was asking it. I was spending money very differently from everyone else on the team. She saw me travel a lot. I was traveling at least once a month, I still do. And she saw me max out my work from anywhere budget. She also saw me do new things, learn and spending tens of thousands of dollars on courses, mentorship, coaches. She saw me spend money, but actually I was making money with all of those expenditures. Not because I'm a travel vlogger on the side, but because I was playing a different game. One for Google, where I trade time for money, and one for myself, where I trade ideas for money. In some incomes, going traveling is a cost. In some incomes, Going traveling is making money. It all depends on what you're being paid for. At Google, I'm being paid for my ability to do the job and the amount of time I spent doing the job. Assuming I got hired because I can do a satisfactory level of the job, the best way for Google to get more out of me is for me to work more, spend more time at work, taking all these stretch projects, do more than I can so that eventually I can get promoted and increase my salary. Notice how I'm not incentivized to be the best at my job. Because realistically speaking, in the system, there's not enough space to promote everyone who do good work. I mean, everyone at Google, they're smart, they can do good work, but there's one manager for every five team members, so there's not enough space, right? If all five are doing a good job, you can't just keep on promoting them because there's already one manager. You have to wait for them to leave, and then one can maybe go up. And so as a team member, the way I think about it is, well, the best way for me to make more money is to work more. But the consequence of doing that is when I'm exhausted from working all these extra hours, then I want to go on a beach vacation, right? I want to replenish the amount of energy that I've depleted from working so hard. Notice how I'm not creating any value. I'm just coming back to status quo. And then, you know, I keep on working until I need to go on a vacation again and reward myself. This is spending money on travel because no new value has been created. But with my YouTube channel, with my courses, my workshops, my cohorts, I'm not getting paid for the amount of time I put in. I'm getting paid for the quality of my ideas, for the way I communicate them, for the energy I bring to the topic. So I'm rewarded for spending time on things that improve the quality of my ideas and the quality of my energy. And traveling for me is one of them. When I travel, I'm not trying to switch off. I am switched on. I am learning. I am curious. I want to see how the world works. I want to distill the new things that I've learned. I want to contrast and compare what is happening. Right? Because when I learn, I can take it back and I can share with all of you. It's the same when I work with mentors, coaches. Right? When I learn, you learn as well. You get the most out of me when I improve myself. You get the most out of me when I save you time and effort. Right? I can go out there, make those mistakes, learn, and then distill what really matters and share them with you. Unlike the Google system, there is no arbitrary cap. The power of trading ideas for money is that ideas are infinitely scalable. And my time spent learning those ideas are also exponentially leveraged. In the one hour that I learn, whatever I distill, 200 something thousand of you learn. And as my channel grows bigger, more people learn without needing more time from me. All I have to focus on is getting better because when other people use me, the more valuable I become, the more valuable they become. There is scale and leverage in my knowledge worker system. The system is working for me and not against me. So I'm paid to improve myself. I'm paid to go traveling. I'm paid to make connections between ideas. In fact, it is my job to do all of those things. And I think I have the dream job. We have to stop building sandcastles, something I talk about in this video as well. As a knowledge worker, we can't just let traditional jobs train us to be become lazy. Right? Our value lies in sharp ideas, great ways of communicating them to others, and being able to build on ourselves and get more value out of it. I've distilled everything I'm learning down below if you want to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!